For over a thousand years, Cambodian weavers have produced silk of compelling beauty and subtle grace. The sensuous Apsara dancers on the walls of Angkor Wat portray, in stone, the elegance of silken folds. During the Hara of the Pol Pot years, Cambodia nearly lost the art of weaving the delicate silks of ancient times. Many of the finest weavers died, and it was necessary to struggle for the barest necessities. But today, UNESCO is helping to revitalize this great tradition of Khmer weaving that was almost lost during the years of conflict in Cambodia. This is the story of Um Ngao, an ordinary Cambodian girl from Takeo province, seeking to improve her life and that of her family. But she and other girls like her are not only taking important steps toward self-esteem and economic independence, they are also contributing to preserving and passing on to future generations an ancient heritage of Khmer beauty and dignity. It is also the story of a master weaver who has struggled to preserve traditional knowledge and standards of excellence. Through the UNESCO program, he has been able to pass on his wisdom. Here at the UNESCO training workshop in Phnom Penh, master weaver Liu Sa M instructs women in the intricacies of dyeing and weaving. Ong Ngao is nervous with her teacher. This is the first time she has returned since graduating from the UNESCO course. After I left you, I went back home to do weaving. Now I bring the band I wove to show you. What do you think? How many did you make? That's all right. That's not bad. Oh, now, you can play